Well, just a, an update and a quick review on an item which I've always wanted but never bothered getting round to buying because it is too expensive. It's ridiculous this thing. Absolutely ridiculous. Probably know what it is by now, surely. It comes in a massive, huge, high quality wooden box. To take off these. I mean, this is a well over the top item, it really is. It's ridiculous. Very nicely packed. There we go, it is bloody gorgeous. Well, there we go. It's a Roco Smart Rail, which is an advanced rolling road. So that's a box for it. So uh, really well made, nicely uh, lacquered, nice joints on the side, latches and handle. It's too big to get on the desk, but well, I'll just give it a, sp a quick spin round. I just look at. Look at the way that's made. You have the beautiful hinges and little... We've got areas for it to stand on on the floor without damaging the box. Here, at each corner. It's really well done. So anyway... I need to oil that chair. There we go. So that's it. Serial number, made in the EU. Click open the top. Whoa. Now that is stunning. The way that's done. It really is. The way that foam works done it's just amazing. It's uh, inserted. So there we go. In the box we have Roco Smart Rail Rolling Road System. Which is a piece of artwork in itself, I think, the way that's made. That solid beach. That's milled piece of beach. Really nice. Beautiful quality that. So this has got a built-in Wi-Fi and it's got a built-in um, controller. Standalone rolling road. Everything's built in. You can plug it in anywhere and it'll work. It's got the sensors at the front and back. Just so well made. So we've got that. Um, let's put that aside a minute. Put that on my desk. We've got The inspection certificate, which the Roco always put them in, make sure it's been checked. So we've got the manual, user manual there, uh, which is really well done. And then we get um, various the power unit for it, cable etc. We also get a cleaning cloth as well. Can't believe it. We get one of them as well. It's just so well put together. Really, really nice. Um, underneath here, I don't know what's underneath here. Oh yeah, we've got a case. We've got the top for the uh, the top of the unit. If you want to use it with a case on top, like a glass piece, it's made out of those specs actually. That. Um, so yeah, all all in all, really nice. And of course, you get. A locomotive with it as well, which is a pretty much one off version of a loco, and this one is beautiful. Can't really see it in the packaging, but it is an absolutely stunning loco DCC sound. A loco which is made 
It's a very high quality of detail. I'll get that and have, have a look in a minute. So that is the new item I bought. So there we go, it's just so beautifully made. Really nice. So there we have it. On it's gonna probably stay on my desk or on the shelves above the desk. Probably up there permanently wired up. So we can have locos running, plus it's just basically you can program locos and all the rest of it. But it's just so well made, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful bit of kit. I just love it. With me loving wood, and I work with wood in my uh, job, it makes me like it even more. It smells of fresh lacquer. <laughs> yeah, so all I'm going to do is put in the power cable carefully, move, moving it around. And inside here, there's a date, uh, there's a Y connection to the computer or Z21 or controller, whatever. I think you can plug a controller into there as well. So you just plug the power in there, and that's it, really. So well done. Yeah, very nice. Do that and just plug it into the PowerPoint, and it's all self contained. And there's no messing around adding control. You use it with the Z21 uh, app on a mobile phone, like that. Or I think you can plug various other controllers into it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to have a look at the instructions. Yeah, so, on the, on the instructions, we have got English instructions on the in the manual, we've got, we've got German, um, I think it's Italian, and English, I think. Oh no, French, English, and um, Dutch, uh, German. So, you can plug loco net controllers in there, loco controllers as well, hardwire them in, or use a tablet or smartphone, or just use it by itself without any other controller with the touch screen here on the front so uh, that's good so I'm just going to power it up now for the first time so I'm going to plug it in right now you will need if you buy one of these you will need an adapter because it comes with a T-pin continental adapter so I'm going to plug it in now there we go it's plugged in and it's lighting up whoa that's well nice yeah, so when we plug it in we've got a, a blue indicator light here so I'm just going to place a, a locomotive um, on the track and just try and get it going. Let's have a closer look at this. This is the best way to get it out. You've got to be so careful taking these models out. That's the best way to do it. Got a ton of paperwork in there as well. Um, let's have a look so careful with this model because it is so finely detailed. Unbelievably detailed. So you've got to be so careful. There we go. So this is Loco 72219 model number for Roco. And it is absolutely stunning. Just what I expected it to be, even though I've never seen this model before. I've got similar models to this. But never factory DCC sound. I think this has got a Zemo chip in it. But as you can see, I mean that is absolutely stunning. Stunning amount of detail. Mind boggling. Lights work on the front, LED lighting. It's just a truly, truly stunning model. I think they retail for about 350, 400 uh, euro. They're worth every penny because they've got a super smooth drive system and uh, yeah really impressed with this one it's got a fairly nicely detailed cab as well oh look at that zoom in a bit Yeah. 
you can see the body, uh, the paintwork on it, the detail around the windows. Yeah, so with this loco you get uh, quite a lot of paperwork. All the various sheets, data sheets, sound chip sheets. There's quite a few there. And of course we get the two, three accessory packs. The driver in there, extra brass parts in there. The pistons. Yep, oh, so that's good. Right, so it's on, <coughs> it's on there all power up, ready to go. So it's in standby mode now. So if I press and hold this blue button here, the other red button lights up, and this one goes to bright white. So it's all touch control along here. It's a load of buttons. Um, you can see the outlines of them, and it all, they all light up accordingly. So that's ready to. Uh, go so to register it, the locomotive on the uh, rolling road. I'm just going to press and hold that and it'll give out the address. Oh, it's reading the address now actually. I think. I think it's set up now. Yeah so once you put it on the track and it logs on, all the lights light up like the functions are one to four. They light up dim. Um, there's only one. To, you can only control one to four functions on the actual rolling road on its own. And the speed, reverse direction, etc. Lights and power. If you want any more than that, you've got to use the controller or the Z21 app. I'll just press sound. There we go. Right, so we have two sensors. Got one there. One at that end and one at that end and uh, they adjust the piano type wire rolling road system that it runs on or like a spring wire system so uh, yeah Let it going. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so the idea of this system, it's just a fancy rolling road, and it is over the top, but you can see all the wheels moving, and it's not sat perched up, it's nice and safe. So this model needs running in. Oh, I'm, happy. I'm happy with that. Really happy. That's virtually rock solid. I mean, you're going to get a bit of movement because of the sensors keeping it central in, on the centre of the plinth. But you can adjust the speed accordingly. Just stop, to, stop speed to a certain speed. Bring it to a halt and centre it like that. Just change direction. That's uh, that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Real chuffed with this. Let's try working it at a slow pace. Of course this has just got to be broken in, the actual unit itself has got to be run in and the locomotive. Well, I just think that's super cool. There's a lot of people out there probably think it's over the top, unnecessary and a bit of a gimmick, which I suppose it is, but these are made in limited numbers and they'll probably be, uh, I don't think they'll make them again. After all the batches are brought out, various different batches. You can buy the stand on its own or with a loco, with a the whole box and everything. 
I love it. So you can just quite happily watch your locomotive. Anywhere you go, you can bring this in the case if you set it up anywhere. I just think it's fantastic, really do. And of course you can use the app, the Z21 app, to get the full controls and wireless control of the uh, locomotive, all the settings and the functions. And uh, I think you can use it as a programming track as well. I don't exactly know what else can be done with it. I know it needs updating the firmware on the actual uh, electronics inside there. That needs it updating. So it's got a wireless uh, reader built in into the actual device. So yeah, really tough for this loco because I think it looks stunning. Quite happy to watch this run, uh, run in now. I absolutely love it. It's just feels it's brilliant. Yeah, so I connected it up to the Z21 app and it's dead easy to do. But the rolling road will only go to a certain speed not going to go really fast, probably because of the workings on the inside and the way it operates. But you can control all the... Just bring it down to a crawl. So that works really easy, you just log it on with the password underneath the uh, smart rail log on to the Z23 app so you can control it with remote control if required. That works nice. Or you can of course work it like this. Just bring it to a stop. Like that. Shut the system down. That's it. All done. Yeah, also noting there's a metal strip underneath which is a third rail for marking three rail models as well I believe. So uh, all marking models can be used on this rolling road. Not sure what it's going to be like of a really heavy loco. I'm going to try a really heavy one out on it now. You've got to bear in mind a locomotive list length will not work on it correctly. It needs more to adjust the sensors to keep it central. It's too great a distance loco for it to work properly so that's that length of loco will not work right, so the next one is a BR06 try and log on to that whether this will work because this is an extremely heavy loco not here, you're not expecting this to work on this rolling road it's all metal virtually every part anyway Oh, it's working. It's working. Can't believe it. Holding the position. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's holding it quite nice. I don't think it would work this because of the weight and the length. And of course this locomotive is ran in completely so it seems to be holding rock solid. Yeah, it looks good that.